Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Holicians, especially to our very supportive school heads, Ma Maria Gina M. Rosena and Sir Samuel S. Polestico. To our very hard-working school department heads, teachers, parents, and students, again, a pleasant morning to all. Today, we are virtually gathered to witness the culminating activity of the English Month celebration for the school year 2020 to 2021 with the theme libraries as the catalyst of the new normal environment changes reforms transformations and to formally begin our program today let's hear the nationalistic song prepared by ma'am annette montemayor
Ms. Leia L. Luzano, our clever master teacher, will lead the prayer. Lord Almighty, we are gathered here today under the wings of your grace with hope and prayer that you may open our minds and set our hearts ablaze that we may conquer and accept the challenges we face may it be slow or fast or on a steady pace Bless everyone who are here today, the school administrators, the school workers, teachers, parents, and students, that we may walk with you throughout your way. Forgive our sins and our mistakes, embrace us with your light, and guide us for our sakes. Lord, we implore you to protect our loved ones, keep them safe, and shield them from harm. Let them know that they're with you wherever they go and whatever they do. Lord, help us teachers to remember our purpose, why we are here and where are we heading. Clear our paths so we can see the right way for us so we can keep on going. Lord, we believe that you are always there, guiding us every step of the way. So whatever plans you have for us, we truly thank you from the bottom of our hearts. All these we ask, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. To welcome us in this celebration, here are the beautiful advisor and co-advisor of the English Club main campus. Ma'am Katharina R. Villahuan and Ma'am Mabel M. Molina. pleasant day to all of us. It is my honor to give this welcome remarks for this closing program, for it means that we have finally come to the end of our English Month celebration for this year. English Month 2020 is a whole new experience for all of us, but despite the challenges and signal difficulties, still be able to find ways to celebrate this event in our own little ways. With that, I would like to to take this opportunity to thank all our students who participated in all our activities. Also, I would like to thank everyone in the English department, my fellow English teachers, for your cooperation and support. Thank you so much for your time and effort in order to facilitate the contest assigned to you. I also would like to say thank you to our department head for her guidance in all our activities. But most of all, my heartfelt thanks goes to my fellow advisors and co-advisors. It's a nice experience working with you guys. Though short and very limited time, I was able to feel your support and encouragement in every day that we are working as club advisors. Thank you so much and congratulations to all of us. To our respected school principal, Maria Gina M. Rosena, 
to our dear assistant principal, Mr. Samuel Poletico, head teachers, fellow teachers, and of course, our dear student. Good day. It is with great honor and pleasure that I welcome you on behalf of the English Department to the 2020 culminating activity in celebration of the English month with its theme, Libraries as Catalysts in the New Normal, Environment, Changes, Reforms, Transformation. The English month celebration is an annual activity at promoting language awareness and reading competencies among students through the exhibition of literary and rhetorical skills. I would like to extend my gratitude to all those who supported this culminating activity in one way or another. I look forward for your continued support and cooperation to make all English Month events productive and enjoyable for our students. Thank you so much and welcome to the English Month Celebrations Culminating Activity 2020. To give us their uplifting messages, let us all listen to our dear principal, Mrs. Gina M. Rosena, our reliable assistant principal, Mr. Samuel S. Polestico. Congratulations to all the teachers of the English department headed by Ma'am Tess de Maunahan. Uh, I appreciate your efforts in the celebration of the English month in the midst of this pandemic. To all the students who joined in the different activities and contests, all of you are winners. Continue to shine in everything that you do and uh, indeed Holy Spirit, the new normal, yes we can. Again, congratulations. A brilliant day to everyone, to our OGENs, teachers, school administrators, especially our dedicated department heads, and of course to our ever regal principal, Ma'am Gina Rosena. Good morning and a beautiful day too. We are gathered today to witness the highlight of this year's English Month celebration. To all students who participated in the different events, I congratulate you for the courage in partaking and participating in this month-long celebration of the English Department amidst the very challenging time called the COVID period. You bravely took the challenge and with this experience that you have gained, you have entered into a metamorphosis, a life-changing moment. You surpassed and succeeded the crucial challenge to change and to adapt in this so-called new normal period. To all English teachers, together with your beauteous department head, Madam Teresita de Maunahan, congratulations for your collective effort to make this culminating activity very successful. Our celebration has ended, but please do keep the lessons that you have gained that libraries are educational centers which motivate people to learn and value the importance of reading. Always remember that you are more than what you think you are. We can always make it through any trials if we will keep on honing our minds and there is no better way to feed the mind than to read books and explore the meaning beyond the words. The more knowledgeable you are, the tougher and wiser you will become. 
Keep in mind that tough and challenging times never last, but only tough people do. With this, let me bid my adieu. Be a social catalyst of change and leaders of reforms and transformation under the new normal environment. Congratulations, have a wonderful day, and God bless. Gracious, Madam and Sir, for the inspiring messages. For the whole month of November, the English Club Advisors and Co-Advisors, with the support of the English Department Head and Teachers, successfully conducted several activities that challenged the skills of our dear students. The participants of each activity have shown an incredible amount of effort, interest, intelligence and talent that amazed both the facilitators and the judges. Now to introduce the chairperson and the winners of each activity, here is Ma Marlene Morales. Let us listen to two of the most dedicated teachers of Holy Spirit National High School Extension Campus. Mrs. Joy R. Bendisho will present the winners of On the Spot as a Writing Contest, while Miss Cherry and T. Bunyog for the Literary Graphics. On the Spot as a Writing Contest for Grade 9 winners. Third place, Shanalyn B. Carulio from 9 Oxygen B. Second place, Angela Nicole D. Palanya from 9 Argon. And first place, Anne Marie C. Reva Montan from 9 Argon. Congratulations, winners! Literary Graphics Contest for Grade 7 students surely tested the imagination and creativity of the participants and proved their drawing prowess. I am very grateful to the seven students who bravely participated in the event. On behalf of the Literary Graphics Committee, let me say thank you very much, contestants. You all did great and for me, you are all winners. Without further ado, let me announce the winners of this year's Literary Graphics Competition. Third place, Paper Artwork Category, Alexiana C. Peroy from 7 Avocado Extension Campus. Second place, Paper Artwork Category, Hannah Shane Oduka from 7 Goyabano Extension Campus. First place, Paper Artwork Category, Janessa Ricatrine G. Poha, 7 Pair, Main Campus. Lastly, we have another first place under the digital artwork category, Ibaro Franco P. Valentin from 7 Peach Main Campus. Congratulations, winners! To announce the winners for the Creative Storytelling Contest, here is the English Journalism Advisor from the Main Campus, Ma'am Dulce Tabada. Good morning, Holicians. This is to announce the winners for the recently held Creative Storytelling Contest. And the winners are Hannah Zerain Jimena, first place from 8 Andromeda. Princess Golden Heart. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Elise. Elise is not allowed to talk with the people outside the palace. 
Elise is living in the kingdom of stars. One day, Elise took a walk outside the palace. She was amazed because the view is so beautiful and a fresh air. While enjoying, Elise saw a little girl crying. Why are you crying? said by Elise. But the little girl did not answer. Elise noticed that the little girl cannot speak and talk. So she said, Come with me in the palace, said by Elise. Elise secretly ran in her room with the little girl. Elise got a pen and a paper and gave it to the girl. The girl wrote that she needs help because her mother is sick and her father is only a farmer. Elise is so touched. So she gave a bag of gold to the girl and the girl came back home. But the queen know what Elise did. Instead of being proud, she was very angry. So she called Elise. Why did you do that? said by the queen. I am sorry. I just want to help, said by Elise. Well, I don't care. People are gonna abuse you because you have everything, said by the queen. That's it. I have everything. This way I want to share it because it's already enough. Did you know the person I help is a farmer who makes us food? They plant it and raise it. Think that without farmers, we do not have foods to eat. They are our sun that let us shine and live. A original statement by Elise. After that, they realized that Elise is right. I'm sorry, you're right, said by the queen. And Princess Elise smiled. After that, they live happily ever after. Lance Grayson Obaob, second place from 8 Aquarius. Hi, my name is Lance Grayson Obaob. 8 Aquarius, this man creative storytelling. Please enjoy. Many say that elves are not true. Well, in this story, even for a moment, you can feel that they are just around here. Also, in this story, you will learn something here that everything should be neat, hardworking, and do not rely on money. Let's begin. While well, people were sleeping comfortably, the town of Mercedes, suddenly something strange fell on the mountains. People suddenly woke up. <laughs> they were surprised that someone was dying in naked. <laughs> they woke it up and they amazed because the man suddenly disappeared. <laughs> this incident became a topic of conversation and as time went on, the story suddenly disappeared. <laughs> Five years later, an actress came from another country. She's beautiful, smooth, and perfect looking like an angel. Her name is Angelica de Jesus. But there's a man who does not like the actress. There is Mark DiCaprio. He's always reading, always at home, and only talking to people at once. When Mark was having coffee, Coffee. He was surprised that the actress Angelica was his neighbor. Since then, she always sleeps at night because Angelica still karaoke at night. Ah, yeah. Then he could not control himself. He went to Angelica's house and Mark found out that Angelica is always busy with work. She is forbidden. Forbidden to take a vacation because she is an actress. So Mark is always tolerant of Angelica's noise. On the seventh day, Angelica, there in Mercedes, the mayor of Mercedes asked if he would come, but he said, I will just read. So Angelica just went with the mayor. While they were drinking with the mayor, the mayor's wife suddenly went and suddenly talked to the mayor in a room. The mayor's the wife left their back, so Angelica's follow. He was surprised to see the stupidity of the mayor. He pushed his wife to the high building. She was so shocked. She slipped and fell in the building. He was of, he was of thinking about how his family would be when he was gone. Suddenly, someone caught up with her and put her in their house. She forgot to say thank you. Dun, 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 dun. 
The next morning, Mark knocked Angelica out if she was okay, and Angelica recounted what happened last night. Angelica offered Mark a, and the old Mark a job if he can be a bodyguard, but Mark refuses. No, no, no. Angelica and she said Mark agrees. Please, please. Until later, they seem to be in love with Adam. One day, someone suddenly entered Angelica's house with black coats and big bodies. Angelica could not get out when Mark came home. He was surprised that the Angelica house was in damage and a lot of money was scattered. Here we also know that Mark is the stranger man who fell in the mountain of Mercedes. He also saved Angelica from near death and is an alien. He used his power to find out where Angelica he was and he was found out she was in an old, old warehouse. Then he went there. He saw Angelica hung him. No. But, there were, but there were enemies. So he sacrificed his life for his beloved. My Lord, I will sacrifice you. It was forbidden to use his power to kill people. He used his strength, he thought Angelica would live longer and have a new life. When Angelica woke up and she was only in the hospital, she first thought of Mark, but she found out he died. She cried and cried. <laughs> And look who did this crime. He found out that the mayor did did it. Mayor did it. Because she saw what he did to his wife. Angelica fought the fought the crime until the mayor was finally in prison. Mark still remain in his mind. If he's alive, he's happy. Thank you for watching. And Andrea Lynn Degas, third place from 8 Aquila Set A. Congratulations! Good to respect the judges. I'm Andrea Nchida Gaas from Grady Pakila Set A, Republic Campus. Today, I will narrate a story called Agape. It is exactly 6 p.m. The family of Marco sat down around the table to eat dinner. The mother started dinner praying, and the others did too. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. The girl said, bored. Thank you for the meal. The mom ended her prayer and the others as well. Mom, I don't get it. Why do we need to pray? How do you guys like know God is real? The girl said, confused. The mother looked at her husband before she answered. Dear, we all had our differences, opinions, and beliefs. Well, our family is Christian, so we need to thank the Lord for giving us meal. But aren't you like the one who did this? Like, are you like, you cooked this, right? It just didn't poof somewhere. The girl said, confused. Her dad chuckled. <laughs> Dear, we need to thank God too for giving us a mother who has such a great talent for cooking. I mean, the spaghetti is really good. Her dad said, the girl thought about it for a second. Hmm, I guess you're right. That made sense. Now eat your dinner before it gets cold. The mother said, reassuring the girl. So she did. After the meal, the girl goes to her room, preparing herself to sleep when she heard a knock. Darling, yes, mom. Good night. Good night to you too, mom. The girl said, hugging her mom. 
and then she thought about it for a second. She should pray for the God for giving her such a loving and caring family. So she did. She claps her hands together and she closed her eyes. Dear God, thank you for giving me such a loving and caring family. I love them so much. I'm sorry for doubting that you are real or you are fake. I know I've seen a lot. I wish my family a great health and a good tomorrow and the future. Amen. The girl said, and she went back to sleep happily. Again, I am Angela Citagas from Grade 8 Aquila Set A Republic Campus. Now here are the winners for the informative speech contest. Third placer, Cassandra M. Dizon. Second placer, Precious Jalene P. Politico. First placer, Sofia Noelli B. Cerezo. Congratulations! Congratulations to the winners. Truly, in the new normal, politicians, yes, we can. Pleasant day to all. This day marks the end of one of the most challenging yet gratifying English month celebration we ever had. Preparations for the celebration were never easy as it was the first time that we handled activities virtually. But being the diligent and efficient teachers that we are, we delivered. This would not be possible if not for the leadership and initiative of the English Club advisors, Ma'am Katerina Villahuan and Ma'am Ezra Sunga, and co-advisors Ma'am Maribel Molina and yours truly, Joy Bendicio. Our gratitude also goes out to our supportive head, Ma'am Teresita de Maunahan, and our principal, Ma'am Gina Rosena. A big thanks also to all the English teachers who tirelessly helped in one way or another for the success of this celebration. Our appreciation also goes out to all the students who were able to participate in the different contests despite countless constraints. We hope you have enjoyed every bit of this celebration. Finally, we thank our Almighty God who continuously keep us safe and healthy. Let me end with this quote by Malala Yousafzai. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. That ends our long month celebration. Thank you everyone. To our very supportive principal, Mrs. Gina M. Rosena, our assistant principal, Mr. Samuel S. Colestico, heads from the different departments, to our very own head teacher, Mrs. Teresita L. D. Maunahan, hard-working teachers from the English department, to our efficient English club advisor, Mrs. Catalina R. Villaluan, and her co-advisor, Mrs. Maribel M. Molina, coordinators and facilitators of the different contests, and to our dear students, our deepest gratitude. Indeed, without your support and cooperation, this event will not be possible. Shishé, the blessed and keep safe.